this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space channel. Uh, usually during the fall, I go ahead and I'll mix up. You know, you're getting to the end of the year where you renew your spices. I usually uh, mix up my spice blends. But before I did that, I wanted to uh, um, go ahead and put this golden berry powder in a container. I have modular mate here to put the golden berry powder in. Uh, this was bought on clearance and it's not expired but I would say it's aged. So it's um, from this company. I may have already opened this one so I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the bag. So I may have sprinkled a little bit of this on some other things that I had. Let's see what the product says. Um, okay, we promise everything simple. See, this is pure golden berry powder. Delicious addition to smoothies, drinks, and baked goods. And in the nutrition facts, it's got two carbs per tablespoon. So it's, it's that simple. And their promise is... We promise that everything we make is simple, clean, real, and make you feel nourished from the inside out. We won't sell it to you unless we are willing to serve it to our own families. So this is just basically a powder. I don't know why I put this one in the bag and the other one was out, but I bought this on clearance at Walmart prior to my going into the hospital first year. So I probably bought this last fall. I'm just now getting to um, things that I would have done last year. Because um, last year I didn't get the chance to um, make any of this. It says for smoothies, family friendly and vegan. And uh, it's gluten free and non-GMO. Gluten free is what sells around here. complete rock <laughs> my meat tenderizer can't touch this <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> oh I knew this was gonna be difficult <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be like this isn't that true in so many things in life it's like well, you know, they told you this would be hard. And they told you that it wasn't easy growing old, but here we are. <laughs> Whole thing's one big rock. You gotta take it apart to use it. So, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is very moist on the inside. So, I need to get this ground down to powder form. I don't even know if I want to start on the other one. <laughs> it will probably take some time to get this ground down. But uh, the good news is I do have a mar marble, a uh, mortal and pestle, which is, uh, you know, hard substance. You don't want a flimsy mortal and pestle because sometimes you run into substances like this that you really have to... Uh, Pull apart and ground down. I read online the uh, health benefits of this substance. And then I saw it on clearance. I had been looking for it for a while, which is wild that it was on clearance. But I had gone across town to some health food stores looking for it. I didn't look at for it for it at my own Walmart because they generally, I mean, it's very difficult to shop gluten-free in my Walmart. And I'm just looking for something to add, to sprinkle on. I had some, uh, I don't know what happened to it. But... 
uh, doing the pumpkin spice and the Italian blend and the Greek blend of my spices because what I do at the end of the year is go ahead and blend up some things so it's easier when you're cooking instead of having to get five items out when you do uh, your pumpkin you just uh, get out one I thought I might add this to my pumpkin blend this year but I don't know with it being moist I'll probably keep this absolutely separate from everything else and then use it where I want it just for maybe smoothies I like to use everything I have and I do have some powdered milk pouches and powdered milk I mean I do it right you know I do keep it mix it well and then keep it get it nice and cold and have it chilled um, but adding something like this or cocoa powder or something like that makes it much better I've even made my own rice milk before that's what I was doing before I had my accident I was blending rice milk every day or almost every day because uh, the price of milk had gone up and you just add a little if you like vanilla flavored like almond milk or uh, any little thing like that just uh, adding a little bit touch of vanilla touch of sugar or artificial sweetener if you can um, use artificial sweetener uh, we can't or I can't because it gives me a headache so uh, we have a flow chart that is necessary for when we sit down and eat um, because we have uh, health conditions and allergies and um, so it becomes complicated so I'm going to get this down to a powder and I'll continue this um, when I do my pumpkin spice video I thought I might do a video all this because it's the fall I do it anyway and why not it's not my normal thing to do is show my cooking but um, I'm sure there are lots of other people out there that have to eat gluten free and with the grocery supply being what it's become right now um, you know if you got it use it for sure and um, taking a little elbow grease but you know what this is very very heavy meat tenderizer and uh, my arms are going to get their exercise today for sure so I'm going to continue doing this until this is powder and um, I'll catch you on the next one